welcome to Turning to Burn, your number one channel, all things blue collar. If you watched the last four weeks, I took you along on this job. Bring up this ready mix plant, concrete batch plant. As you can see, we're finishing up. Got the trailer loaded. Got me a new uh, nice little table for the shop. These always come in handy. Put a prints up there. But since we're done, I want to take you along, show you everything we did from the beginning to the end, then just do a real quick tour of the plant and just kind of explain how a ready mix batch plant works. And uh, so stay tuned. Turn it and burn it. So in the first video, I showed you how we laid down all this base. That was the first thing we did. We came in here, degrassed this whole area, complete five acres where the plant the facility will be sitting. And we put all this base down, as you can see all around us. And um, got everything ready to rock and roll. You ready to do another one of these plants? Oh, dude, I can't wait, man. We got it down now. I mean, yeah, we made a couple mistakes. We did things the hard way in a few parts, but we got it licked. And it's gonna be nothing but fun on the next one. Just stay tuned. That's what I'm talking about, brother. Yes, sir. Once all the dirt work was done, I didn't get to get in here and video this, but we came in and we laid all the concrete out, put these big old piers in, and we put this ramp right here. I'll explain what that ramp does here and the reason why they ramp it up is the trucks will come in those trucks you see going down the street they have those things in the back to turn and they come up and they go at an angle so when they're getting loaded from right here all the aggregate and cement and everything can flow a lot quicker and they can get them loaded a lot faster so we came in did all these concrete piers here laid all these other concrete out here see there's a little small little lip right here later on this came in but this we poured all this thick and what it needed to be to the prints poured this runway right here this is for the stacker conveyor which i'll explain here in a little bit it goes back and forth and we put a little curb right here that way for whatever reason they don't stop this thing it's not gonna roll off the other two things we poured is what's behind us right here we poured what this diesel tank is sitting on and right over here we poured for the office building we got all that completely ready none of this concrete was here we got all that ready so we could keep on going then after that i also didn't get this on video i wish i did but we put in all these right here uh these are six inch pipes went down as much as you sticking see sticking up is down in the ground drilled those poured all that concrete this looks pretty cool they came in here and they stuck these plastic pieces over top of them but it's almost like a work of art how level they got everything turned out beautiful and then i came out here and just did a quick update and you can see this is where we trenched and all these lines went out that way put the flowable fill on top covered them back up so we did that over here a couple different spots around the plant where the piping is sticking up out of the ground and then uh it came in poured all this concrete on top right here it's a big old working area and whenever they're using this facility all this will be paved and clean it's going to be really nice and then the last two videos i really like those videos those are always fun to make there's little montages of putting the plant together first pieces that came if you remember from the video was this this is the aggregate side which houses aggregate rock and sand which is fed from the stacker conveyor which then goes up here i'll explain all that here in a little bit then the fourth video just right before this one so when we installed this this was fun uh, went pretty quick it was a lot of work but that was installed so right now what we're finishing up with is all the little details you have a cement batcher and a water batcher that they're hanging it has to be held by load cells to get everything weighed we're getting all that done and complete and a little few other little knickknacks on this side the guys are putting in fill pipes 
I'm up here all the way down just about done that's used to fill the silos up with cement and fly ash flying the last little bit of pipe in we have that one then we'll have one more and that part will be complete so that was the job in a nutshell we were blessed to be able to do pretty much the whole thing only thing that we did not do is the electrical we did help put the lines in the ground and stuff like that but now i'm going to take you along and i'm going to show you how this plant works if you're curious how a batch plant works how we make concrete take you along i won't be able to show you you know with the rocks and sand and everything and how it's actually working but i can just kind of give you a little tour and that way if you ever drive down the road and you see one of these plants off to the side and you see the trucks coming out you'll kind of know how they work basically to make concrete you'll need an aggregate rock you know something kind of like this different size whatever it calls for in the mix you'll need um, sand you'll need cement and then they also add fly ash as well as water and then they'll add a few other little um, type of chemicals in there for kind of your add mix it adds to the mix to help it either bind or accelerate so it hardens quicker stuff like that it all starts right here with this hopper fbl hopper front end loader hopper and what they'll do and uh, what they're going to do is back over here they'll have all their materials different sizes so they'll have piles like this back over here and the loader will scoop whatever it is up come in here and dump into this hopper which fills up and goes up the conveyor so as you can see this gate is closed right now they will open it up to whatever size they want however quick they want to feed it so the material when it's in there will come down and feed until it's empty so right now as you can see the stacker is all the way over here it has those wheels that go on that travel pad and the stacker can move all the way across and there is four compartments up there for what different size materials different sands so right now it's all the way over here so if it'd be running it'd be feeding inside of there we'll take a quick trip up the stacker and i'll show you what it looks like this is where the material will be coming up from this right here is a pull cord a safety pull cord so if you were to fall or anything was to happen this will trip the conveyor and it will no longer run so let's head up to the top here's the top of the stacker conveyor and this is what drives it you have a motor and inside there you can't really see it you have a pulley with v-belts little pulley or shiv down there and you have a gearbox kind of like a transmission in your vehicle but this will give you the ratio to pull the torque and pull this pulley get the belt going kind of give you a bird's eye view of what it looks like I'll kind of stand out here you can see those are different compartments those compartments those compartments house the sand and the different aggregate so that way it's staged and ready to go but back here on the bottom see how this thing moves it has two tires these are pretty much the same rim and tire setup like on a 18 wheeler like a tractor trailer and right here same setup as up top is you'll have a motor this is a different style gearbox the motor mounts to it and then you have your gearbox which will pretty much make the gear ratio you need and then you have a sprocket in there with teeth and a chain and so this will move this way or that way pretty much like a bicycle and it'll move this thing from the right to the left wherever they need it so we're on the bottom part looking at the bin where the sand and aggregate will go we'll head up here and i'll show you where it ends up after that from the storage bins so pretty much on the mid level right here you see the top and then in between here, you have another bin. This is called an aggregate batcher. It's a weigh scale. 
and what it'll do is you have these air cylinders and you know this is your compartment like i'll show you up top one two three and four and these gates will open up and you'll fill up however much sand however much aggregate you need and it'll weigh it and i'll show you how it weighs so it's hanging you have i don't know how well you can see that that's a big scale right there and that'll tell the operator in the control room how much of each product's in there and uh feeder system's pretty much set up to where it'll drop a thousand pounds of sand a thousand pounds of aggregate whatever it is and that'll weigh it up for whatever product whatever concrete product that they're looking for so these gates will open go close to the correct weight and then the product is inside of here and then we'll go back to the bottom and i'll show you where that goes that's what leo and pablo are doing right now they're putting in the same thing this is a smaller scale than this over here this does the same exact thing but with the cement and with the water they're lifting it up getting the scales on there and i'll explain that here in a second but let's go back down and i'll show you where this product goes to so I just came down from that level and this is the bottom part of the aggregate weigh batcher and you can see it has gates as well so once it weighs up to what it needs to be it'll stop and right here you have what is called a charging conveyor that shoots out this way and the conveyor will kick on and these gates will open up pretty much I'll show you back over here see the gears these gates will open up this one will go this way this one will go that way and all the material will fall right onto the belt and the belt will carry it up that way so the conveyor belt carries it up this way and like I was showing you earlier where that ramp is right here you have a chute there's gonna be another cover over here and there'll be some plastic down to keep all the dust and all that stuff from getting out with that will load right into here which will be in the back of that truck which will be right here and your aggregate and sand will be inside the truck mixing and spinning and getting ready to go now for these bins silos it's the same concept as the aggregate only it's housing cement and fly ash but the way they load that is they do not load it from a stacker like that they load it into these pipes and what they'll do is they'll bring a, a big tanker truck i don't know if you've seen the tanker trucks they'll back in here hook a hose up and it has a big blower and it's going to blow all the way up to the top and inside and in here there's four compartments just like the other side again over here it's the same concept but instead of material like rocks and sand up here it's the same thing only they're gonna drop and weigh up however much cement and however much fly ash they need and over here same thing with the water it'll weigh up how much water it takes cuts it off and then from there it all goes into the same area dumps into the truck from each one and from there the truck starts spinning starts mixing it all up before it hits the road the truck's full everything everything was calculated weighed out put in the truck the truck will drive out here before it leaves and it goes to this v looking thing right here that's called a slump stand the drivers will pull up right over here and i'll show you why these are set like a v like this they're up right now so the trucks can fit through here without hitting it and they'll come up here they'll go up the steps so they'll come up here there'll be a hose right here they can turn it on and then this way it can lower this thing down right here has a little brake press it down and let's see that'll open up I'm stepping on it lowers down and then you can walk out on here this you'll be able to see the inside of the truck you can look down inside where it's mixing you'll have that water hose 
and you can add water to it check the slurry you can see if it needs more water and then from there i'll head back down the stairs they'll come around they'll hop in their truck they'll probably get their ticket somehow from the office i'll head out the gate to the job site of course a beautiful concrete just like this so if you didn't know how concrete you got to your house to pour the nice slab for your new shed or whatever it is you're building that's how it's done right there i know this wasn't the most coolest video it wasn't as cool as putting all this stuff up but i thought why not while we're finishing up just kind of take you along and show you how the concrete ready mix batch plant works and um but just thank you for watching i appreciate it if you like these videos give me a thumbs up just lets me know that uh that you're interested in these and i'm gonna try to give you some more blue collar stuff hopefully get some more stuff on some of these rigs we got some stuff planned we want to kind of do some walk around show you all the guys different rigs and what they drive and stuff like that and hopefully i can get back into firebird friday real soon so we kind of spread this content out and make it a little bit more interesting not just kind of the same thing but we are almost done we'll be back in the morning to finish everything up check all the bolts put some touch-up paint on there so we can get out of here we won't be dragging up but we will be rolling on into the next one thanks for watching peace hey guys it's almost dinner time let's go on to the next one.